T minus 30 seconds and counting. To launch the quarter garden starts. Thermal batteries activation. 15 seconds. Flight mode on. Flight mode on. 10. Then system All systems are ready. Five seconds to launch. Main engine start. Main engine ignition. Main engine start of the HTV. And lift off. Lift off of the Japanese HTV cargo craft heading for a rendezvous with the International Space Station next Thursday. X2B rocket 2号機は平成23年1月22日 Pitch maneuver complete, the HTV net heading toward the southeast out over the Pacific Ocean. We have a liftoff of the H2B launch vehicle number 2 with the Konotori 2 on board from the Tanegashima Space Center at 2.37 p.m. on January 22, 2011, Japan Standard Time. 打ち上げ以降、ロケットの完成は吉信発射完成塔から滝崎総合司令塔に引き継がれています。After liftoff, the launch vehicle operation control was shifted from the blockhouse to the range control center. Fifty seconds into the flight, the Japanese HTV and its H2B booster already going supersonic. The HTV is now flying over the Pacific Ocean to the southeast with its initial flight angle of 108.5 degrees. One minute and ten seconds into the flight, all systems performing well. Coming up on the point when the four solid rocket boosters will burn out. The HTV is now flying smoothly. SLBA burn out. 120. Jackson confirming. Uh, Separation of the solid rocket boosters, these uh, come off two at a time. The first and second pairs of the SLVA were jettisoned. Both pairs of solid rocket boosters are now separated. One minute and 30 seconds from now, the uh, fairing that uh, protects and covers up the HTV at the very top of that rocket will jettison. At that point, the rocket will be 75 miles in altitude. The Ogasawa station has started tracking. It's three minutes after liftoff. The first stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Current altitude is about 108 kilometers. Velocity is approximately 2.2 kilometers per second. Payload fairing jettison. Confirmation that the fairing has been jettisoned. The first stage will continue to burn for two more minutes. There you see the uh, smoke trail left there above the Tanegashima Space Center. The first stage engine is 
The first stage engine combustion attitude control on the flight trajectory are all normal. Here in Houston, the flight director, Jerry Jason, is about to wrap up his shift. He's updating the Expedition 26 crew on board the space station, talking with Katie Coleman there, informing her that uh, tonight's launch was successful. The HTV continuing to head into orbit. The next milestone will occur at 5 minutes and 46 seconds into the flight. That is when the first stage engine will cut off. ロケットは順調に飛行を続けており、現在の高度は約160キロメートル、秒速約 4.3 キロメートルです。The flight goes very smoothly. Current altitude is about 160 kilometers. Velocity is approximately 4.63 kilometers per second. A live view inside the control room at the Scuba Space Center. A the team there continuing to monitor the progress of HTV as it climbs into orbit. We're standing by for the cutoff of the first stage engine, which is coming up momentarily. First stage engine cut off. First stage engine cut off confirmed. 第1段ロケット、第2段ロケットから分離。First and second stage is separation. Five minutes and 54 seconds into the flight, the first and second stages have separated. 第2段エンジン燃焼開始。Second stage engine ignition. Confirmation that the second stage engine has fired. This will fire for more than eight minutes. The second stage engine will fire until the 14 minute and 15 second mark. The station has started trucking. Live shots there from the Scuba Space Station. Mission Control Room, the Guam Station has now started tracking. The second stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Now more than seven minutes into the flight, the uh, second stage engine continues to perform as expected. The team there in Scuba Japan is uh, watching over all the systems on board. The Expedition 26 crew on board the space station is also following along. For the next five days, HTV will continue to perform a series of different uh, orbital maneuvers as it closes in on the orbiting complex. Everything was, uh, will be all set for Thursday's activities. That is when HTV will arrive within the vicinity of the International Space Station. It will perform a series of station keeping maneuvers. And then ultimately, it will get close enough so that the station's robotic arm under the control of Katie Coleman and also Paolo Nespoli can use that arm to reach out and grab onto HTV and to mount it to the bottom of the Harmony node. The second stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Current altitude is approximately 255 kilometers. Velocity is about 5.6 kilometers per second. ロケットは現在安定して飛行を続けています
the flight controllers there in Scuba, Japan, continuing to give uh, information on the performance of the HTV as it continues to head into space. It is uh, now more than 160 miles high, continuing to gain velocity under the power of that second stage engine, which will uh, continue to fire for another almost five minutes. We're now 9 minutes and 45 seconds into the flight. It's 10 minutes after liftoff. You can see here in the live footage of the mission control in Tsuba, Japan. The flight is progressing smoothly. The launch vehicle is out of the tracking range of the Tanegashima ground station, and the Ogasawara and Guam stations are tracking the launch vehicle. Flying smoothly. This uh, ground track and flight map being sent to us by the uh, Japanese Space Agency JAXA. You can see HTV continuing to head to the southeast out over the parts of the Pacific Ocean. We're now 11 minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Engine combustion, attitude control, and flight trajectory are all normal. The flight goes very smoothly. Current altitude is approximately 290 kilometers. The velocity is about 6.4 kilometers per second. HTV is now 180 miles high. Flight Director Jerry Jason continuing to give updates to Katie Coleman, a member of Expedition 26, on the flight, but uh, all systems are nominal. Everything is performing as expected. The next major milestone will occur uh, in about two minutes and 15 seconds. That is when the second stage engine will cut off. And then a little less than a minute after that, at 15 minutes and 5 seconds into the flight, that is when HTV-2 will be separated from its rocket and will be in its preliminary orbit. The Ogasawara station finished tracking and the Guam station is now tracking the launch vehicle. A spacecraft currently being tracked by ground stations near Guam. But the uh, smoke there above the Tanegashima Space Center is still very evident, even though we're more than 13 minutes past the launch time. In less than one minute, that second stage engine, which has been firing since the six minute mark, uh, will be shut down. And then less than a minute after. Less than a minute after that, that is when the HTV cargo craft itself will separate from the rocket and will begin its solo flight. The flight goes very smoothly.
standing by for second stage shutdown. The shutdown of the second stage engine has been confirmed. The launch vehicle is in coast flight. These are actual replays coming to us of when the SRBs were jettisoned. And there you see replay of the uh, payload fairing separation. That was the cover that was over the top of the HCV itself. That took place at the 3 minute and 40 second mark. There's the first and second stage uh, separation, which took place at 5 minutes and 54 seconds. And now back to the current view of the map itself. HTV separation. HTV has separated from its rocket. It is now flying by itself. 15 minutes and 30 seconds after the liftoff. HTV now begins a five-day trip up to the International Space Station setting up for Thursday's rendezvous and berthing activities. This is the end of the live launch report of the HTV launch vehicle flight 2 with the Konotori 2 on board.